The Biden administration is ramping up the pace of COVID-19 vaccinations, but is also tempering optimism with caution. AP's Sagar Magani reports. CDC Chief Rochelle Walensky says everybody's itching for normalcy, and it's coming. We are getting there at roughly two and a half million vaccinations a day. But the nation has not turned the pandemic's corner. We are at the corner. And Dr. Anthony Fauci says whether it's turned remains to be seen. The biggest challenge remains new virus cases, some 55,000 a day. When you're at that level, I don't think you can declare victory and say you've turned the corner. Still, Fauci's highlighting studies showing negligible virus transmission rates among fully vaccinated people. Sagar Magani, Washington. Myanmar's junta freed hundreds of demonstrators arrested during its brutal crackdown on protests Wednesday. While many businesses in Yangon remained shut and streets were deserted after anti-coup activists called for a silent strike. Reuters' Emily Wither reports. They streamed out by the busload from a jail in Myanmar's city of Yangon. Hundreds of demonstrators arrested during the country's brutal crackdown were released Wednesday by the ruling military junta. In the country's biggest city, Yangon, many businesses remained closed. The strike comes a day after the bloody crackdown saw its youngest victim laid to rest, a seven-year-old girl. About 275 people have been killed in the bloody protests. The Myanmar office of the UN's Children Agency says at least 23 of the dead are children. That's Reuters' Emily Wither. With most of the votes counted, Israelis still do not know who won Tuesday's election. Neither Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu nor the main challenger have any way to put together a majority coalition. Linda Gradstein reports from Jerusalem. It's going to take a while until Israelis know the final results of Tuesday's election, the fourth in two years. That's because there are more than 450,000 special ballots from Israeli soldiers, hospital patients, and diplomats overseas that have yet to be counted. And since Israel is such a small country, even a few thousand votes can swing a parliamentary seat. Israeli analysts at Israel's fast COVID-19 vaccine program, which has already reached 80 percent of Israel's adults, worked in Netanyahu's favor. The fact that he is currently on trial for corruption has not affected his support, which remains similar to the past three elections. Linda Gradstein for VOA News, Jerusalem. Kenya on Wednesday ordered the closure of two sprawling camps that host hundreds of thousands of refugees from neighboring Somalia and gave the U.N. Refugee Agency just two weeks to present a plan to do so. The Dadaab and Kakuma refugee camps in northern Kenya together host more than 410,000 people. Authorities in Nairobi first announced their intention to shut the Dadaab camp, which is closer to the border with Somalia, back in 2016, citing national security concerns. The UNHCR urged Kenya to ensure that those who need protection continue to get it and pledged to keep engaging in a dialogue. Kenya's move comes as relations with Somalia worsen after Mogadishu cut diplomatic ties with Nairobi last December, accusing it of interfering in its internal affairs. Eight tugboats are attempting to free one of the world's largest container ships, a 400-meter-long behemoth that ran aground in the Suez Canal, blocking one of the world's most important waterways. Reuters Soria Ali reports. Cargo trucks were lining the port entrance and ships were being diverted to an older canal after the vessel called the Ever Given ran aground on Tuesday morning, according to the Bernard Shelter Ship Management, or BSM. The Canal Authority says the mishap occurred because of bad weather. Eight tugboats were attempting to free the canal on Wednesday morning, but some delays to shipping are expected. BSM said all the crew are safe and accounted for and that there have been no reports of injuries or pollution. That's Reuters, Soria Ali.
Hi, thank you for watching. I hope the videos are useful for you. Please subscribe to my channel using the button below.